Hi guys, I'm Katie. Uh, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm all about cosmetics, beauty and aesthetic. If you feel the same, let's be friends. Please like to support and subscribe and press the bell button to receive notifications. And today I would like to share with you my quick and simple, simple, <laughs> maybe not too, too simple, my quick everyday makeup routine. So let's get started. I've already done uh, my skincare routine, so if you're interested, I will link it down below. And I've already applied my SPF and a lip balm. So after that, the first step that I usually do, I apply primers both. I apply facial primer and eye primer. Uh, facial primer, I use uh, Touch the Silk Canvas for the face. It comes with... A Scoopy, so I scoop a little bit out, something like this. Yeah. And what I like to do, I always warm the products on my hand before applying it onto the face. With this very primer, actually, uh, most of the primers work this way. You need to tap it in, not just like laser, but tap it in then it diminishes pores and somehow it works like better the skin looks way better i don't apply it all over the face i only apply it like on the high points on my face in the middle i would say and then i apply eye primer uh, today I'm using Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Portion Anti-Aging. I think this one, this one is good, actually, I like it, but it dries out so quickly. And I like to take it up to my eyebrows. Because, I don't know, somehow, uh, if I take it up to my eyebrows, then the eyebrows look better. Because I just use, I don't use like pencil, I'll show you later, I use only powder. So here we go. The next one I will use uh, my foundation for foundation. At the moment I use Chanel Sublimage um, Tinted Essence. My skin is pretty normal now. Uh, when it's been oily in summer, I hated it. Uh, it just like sits on the face, on the surface of the face and then slides down no matter what. Actually, it comes with a brush. Oh, one moment. Here we go, the brush from Chanel. The brush itself is really dense, is really nice, but somehow with this very product, I just hate it because it basically moves the product around with all those lines, exaggerate, I don't know, it just doesn't work for this very foundation. So the best way to apply it, I found for myself, is just to use fingers. Because it's basically, it's not a foundation, it's tinted a essence. So I don't use much. I use that much. Oh, my one, oh, B10, my one in the shade B10. Okay. So basically what I do, I like to warm it up on my hand as well. It provides you with, I think I would say like light to medium coverage, but it's buildable. And I do not use any, um, I don't use any concealer. So I like to start with under eye area. I just dab it all around basically. I will use my mirror because I cannot see anything there. And then I add more where I need. Because I think it sets pretty quickly, so you do not want to apply it onto the whole face. Then you won't be able to move it around. So at first I apply it onto the face. Tap it in, make sure it's blended. And you can apply a little bit more in those areas where you feel like you need some concealer. 
to conceal it better. So it's buildable, it works. So guys, when the face is pretty much done, I still uh, get some product left. So what I like to do, we'll drag it down the neck, ears. You know, you don't want to have the transition. And it's also essence, so it protects and moisturizes your neck as well. So here we go. We're done with the foundation. I like pretty much like a sheer coverage, so I didn't apply too much. And the next one, I actually use this one. It's a setting powder from Hourglass, but actually you can apply it underneath the foundation or over it. It looks both uh, like underneath and over the foundation. It looks really good. And my one ambient dim light, incandescent light, radiant light. I showed you it before. It's so gorgeous. So what I like to do, I take the brush from Real Techniques 400. Does it show that? What I like to do, I just go through all of them, included this dark color, and I apply it on the outer portions of my head. My face, Jesus Christ, mess. And these two colors, I dab. It contains a little bit of powder. Oh, sure it does, Jesus Christ, no shit, Sherlock. It contains a little bit of shimmer, so somehow it reflects the light and makes you, it makes you look, I don't know, like your complexion looks so radiant and healthy. I really love it. Like I use it every day. I do love it so much. And next one, we will jump into the bronzer. I use two bronzers. First one is Too Cool From School um, art class. I've used quite a bit. You can see and it comes with a brush angled brush which i really like it's pretty dense and nice and soft it comes together in a kit and the second one the one that i use is hula bronzer from benefit um number hula no no number what shade is that goodness gracious i cannot find any shades today the shade looks like this it looks like this it's pretty like dark but it doesn't look this dark when you apply it on the skin i'm still trying to figure out what shade is it believe this bronze sweep this matte bronzer all over the face to use it to create a natural looking contour Alrighty, later so first i start with two cool from school first of all I dip my brush into these two colors, darker ones, and I kind of dab it on where I want my actual bronzer to be. I cannot really see anything in the camera. Oh, wow. Yeah. Then, I just blended it, but I take it up and down. Don't forget ears. Take it up to the temples, to the forehead. To another ear. Here we go. And the trick, you want to contour this part of your face to make it look more defined. Same, I use the same two colors. And underneath your jawline. Same, I will do it from this side. Up. 
underneath your chin to cover a double chin. And the trick that actually I think Rihanna mentioned, you take your bronzer and you pull it down here to create a slimmer neck, I believe. I don't know, but I still use it. Don't forget to blend it all well. Next, I use these two colors, lighter colors. And we will get to our nose. Nose and eyeshadows. Somehow, I'm a bit lazy in the morning, so I just came up with an excuse to use bronzer as my eyeshadows and it looks perfectly well. Then I pinch the brush and drag it down the nose. A little bit in the middle. Here we go. We've done with Too Cool For School. Then I take Hula Bronzer I use the brush that comes with it. I just dip a little bit in and make this bronzer more defined. Do not forget to blend it all. Here we go. We've done with the bronzer. Bye bye, hula. Next, I like to do my eyebrows. And for eyebrows, I use only powder from Shuemura. <laughs> it's actually broken. I own it for a little while. Look. Ah! Momento. Here we are. Come back. Okay. <laughs> it looks like this pretty light and it comes with a brush and some kind of like you know spongy but I usually use only brush I dip in both colors together and just I start usually in the center of my eyebrow hope you can see Kind of like draw a line at the bottom and then what I was left, I just like apply it all over the brow. And whatever's left goes here. Here we go. The second one. Again, I dip in the brush in both colors and first kind of hair draw a line what I was left I take it up and here it was again here we go brows are almost ready we'll come back to it a little bit later and next I like to draw a little bit of the Egyusal, <laughs> what basically Koreans do. I learned it from them and here I use my Etude House palette. Oh, play color eyes. Yeah, it says like this, no need to read in Korean. <laughs> my palette looks really bad. <laughs> I use it quite a bit. So I usually take these two colors, I mix them with an angle of that spongy. I mix them together and then I apply a little bit in the center and for, with another side, clean side, just drag that color all around in that agur side, that crease under eye. And same I do on this side. What it does, it kind of creates a younger look. Here we go. 
we've done. And then I take my Giorgio Armani um, eye tint number 12. I really like it. And I draw underneath the eye between the eye line and the agiosal and just smudge it out. I don't take much. Wait, I think I will take that one here. So I basically apply it all around, <laughs> all around, <laughs> under my eye and just buff it out a little bit. Then what I use, what I do, I take a little bit from the brush and apply it in the corner of my eye. A little bit more in this area. you can see kind of like opens your eye and I just like everything shimmering and glittery bling bling it's all about me so we do the same with another eye what I like about this very eyeshadow liquid eyeshadows it doesn't budge it stays all day it doesn't crease it doesn't do anything and I really like the shimmer that it gives me it looks beautiful what am I doing next? I think we'll get into the setting powder and the one that I use, a translucent one from By Terry. I usually use this very sponge and I'm in love with the sponges. They're so good. What I do, I just flip it over and whatever is on the brush, I just dab it in the center of the face you don't really want to dab it over the bronzer no need to can i take a look it makes your skin look flawless and it also holds the makeup in place like for a long long, long time for the whole day that's all <laughs> you need literally a little a little goes a long way then what I do, I come back to this very palette and I use I use this first color. Is this or that usually? They're both very sparkling. Let me swatch for you. First one, second one. Oh wow, it doesn't look that on the eyes. So anyways, I will today I'll go for the lighter one and I just press a little bit here very corner of my eye here we go we're all glittery sparkly and happy well this is not the end next guys I didn't really use uh, blushes on a daily basis only like time to time but if I do I prefer this too First one is from Milani, uh, the color uh, number eight, Tea Rose powder bl blush, brush, blush. <clears throat> it's a little bit hard to open somehow. I don't know. I'm like, Milani, how do you expect people to open it? Apparently they don't. Just look at it. I don't know. Here we go. So it looks like this. Let me swatch. It looks really nice on the skin. And the second one is from Etude House. What's the um, lovely cookie blusher BR401 Pink Brownie? <laughs> bam, 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 bam. It's been broken for a while. It also has a puff, but I threw it away a while ago because it's been dirty, broken, everything. Well, you can tell. I've been using it for quite a while. That's the color both of them look really nice you can shear them out you can build them up they actually stay throughout the day and do not you know like look dirty on the face does it make sense 
And the next one I will go in for highlighter. The highlighter that I use is from Hourglass Ambient uh, Absolute Strobe Light, Pure Strobe Light, Listen Strobe Light. It looks like this. I like to use the Real Techniques 402 brush. Brush? What am I saying? Brush. What I do, I go through all of them and lightly put it here. Then I pinch the brush. What I also like to do, I go down where we put our bronzer and the last but not least I go through these colors put it under my brow and a little bit here what I like about this palette because it contains like pink yellow and brown pink yellow and brown undertones you can basically modify it for any skin tone and it looks really beautiful and stays the whole day Let's get back to our lip balm. You know, guys, I've been trying to use it and like it because many people are raving about it. And I was like, why doesn't it work for me? And I don't know, you know, like this hair here, it just doesn't work. It will not like put it up or the way you want it. I don't know, maybe it's just my hair. Maybe the, my hair is stubborn. I don't know, but... Um, the rest of the brow it holds well but the beginning of the brow this edge it just doesn't work so but somehow i'm trying to use it and i i, I think i like the way it makes this part of the brow look but not the beginning so what i do i put this hair up hoping that it will stay Though after five seconds, five to five minutes, it it would be gone, whatever. And then I brush through the rest of the brow, putting it the way I want it. But you have to be quick because it basically dries quickly, and it will not just you will not be able to move the hairs. So this part of the eyebrow, I will press it in. Hopefully, it will stay like this. And the rest of the brow, I will just press a little, little bit. Let's do this side as well. So here we go. Brows done. And then I like to apply a lip liner first. Oh, sorry, my lip liner is from NYX. Uh, professional makeup lip pencil uh, nude beige I do not really like to draw a cupid bow I just prefer to make it a little bit flat I do not go outside of my lips because sometimes it looks weird especially uh, with my lips I always like eat all the lip balms all the lipsticks and everything so what if i will like like i don't know like eat it up from one side but it stays on the other side it looks creepy right so i never do that and i'm pretty lazy i do not like to reapply lip liner throughout the day so here we go then i would go for mascara and I introduced this mascara a while ago, it's from Marionaud. I hope I say it correctly. Um, I didn't like it at first because it's been like watery, really runny. But um, actually after a while, you know, when you open the mascara and uh, it sits open for a little while, it becomes like thicker. And now, wow, it's been quite a, like months, I think, or something now i like it better but still you have to apply like a few coats of it because one coat is literally it's like you're like where's the mascara like i will show you guys so it's a lengthening mascara 
the wand has got the brush is like a little bit curvy. So here we go. This is one the it's just one coat and you're like, where is the mascara? <laughs> What's going on? What did I pay for? So that's why you need to apply a few layers, but few layers does work. It's buildable. It doesn't like dry out and you cannot move it. And surprisingly, it doesn't stick the lashes together. But the only thing, it just takes a while to build it up. But I wanna make, I wanna finish one eye and show you the difference. I wouldn't say that my lashes are like super long or naturally curled. No. But I do not really like to curl them with this mascara. So here we go, two layers now. And the third one, give me a second. So here we go. The mascara is down on one eye. A little bit of the mascara here and there. We'll clean it up later. Uh, let me finish the second eye and I'll come back in a moment. So here you go, guys. I came back with mascara on both eyes. And if you sometimes get those like uh, smudges of mascara all around, don't worry. You can use something like this, you know, like people who do like eyelash extensions and stuff like that. They buy this ones usually. So you can get one as well and use it to erase all the marks of mascara what i also like to do i never do my lower lashes because then it just smudges all around because my eyelids are pretty oily that's why i cannot apply any eyeshadows without primer so here if there is any mascara on my lower lashes, I just take it off with my fingers. So throughout the day, it will not smudge or fall, what the heck, fall like under my eyes. Here we go. The last but not least, I'm using my uh, lip balm or lip gloss. Uh, I've been using Dior Lip Maximizer uh, Hyaluronic hyaluronic lip plumber for a long long time i usually um use like light pink but i i do not even know where is the empty um bottle of it or this color is 004 i love this one i think last year i've been using it like non-stop i don't even know like can you see it looks pretty transparent on the lips but you can tell I ran out of it. I need to rebuy it. That's my favorite one. But now I found that I still own Bourjois one. Um, 3D effect gloss. Balm action moisture. Eight hours. I don't know, guys. Look at it. You cannot even tell. Like everything wiped off. Because like I own it for a long time. This one in the color rose. Charismatic number 29 but i was like oh my gosh i need to find a link for you right and i was like i need to rebuy it it's so good i like it so the last step is i really like it it's so sparkly and Actually, it's really moisturizing and it stays on the lips for a long time. That's why I like it. Oh my gosh, and now I'm wiping out my Dior. Okay, bye bye Dior. So this is it, guys. Uh, it is my everyday makeup routine. I kind of get used to it. So for me, it's really simple and quick. And go ahead and glam up your everyday makeup look a little bit as well. And be welcome to send me pictures of your everyday makeup in my Instagram. And... Yeah, guys, so this is it. Hug you all, stay warm, and see you next time. See you. Bye-bye.